is Ian Fisher, Deputy Foreign Editor for the New York Times in New York. On Monday, the third day of the ground offensive in Gaza, Israeli soldiers closed in on Gaza City, occupying buildings on the city's outskirts and engaging in battles with Hamas militants. While there was much violence in Gaza on Monday, it was unclear how much the two sides have engaged in close quarters fighting. The reason is that ambulances, as well as journalists, have been unable to get close to many of the places where they are fighting. What's clear, though, is that civilians continue to get caught up in the bombardments. The New York Times' is Tigrid El Khodri reports from Shifa Hospital in Gaza City. At the hospital today, many they were blaming, you know, many of them, you know, were blaming also Hamas for using, for firing from residential neighborhood. This is uh, this is very loud, but uh, I think from our previous experiences covering the second intifada you go to a family and they will curse hamas for firing from uh, from that from their neighborhood but then you go after one month and then when they remember their loved one they say it's israel that killed them it's israel to be blamed hamas meanwhile fired at least two dozen rockets into israeli territory rockets that israel says it is in gaza to stop in all the violence, a new round of diplomacy began. On Monday, French President Nicolas Sarkozy and former British Prime Minister Tony Blair traveled to the region. Any diplomatic solution seems unlikely until both sides, Israel and Hamas, achieve their objectives. For Hamas, it wants to inflict as much damage as possible against Israel, much as Hezbollah did in the 2006 war that was so devastating to Israel and its military. For Israel, the aim seems less clear. Publicly, they say they want to reduce the capacity or end the capacity of Hamas to fire rockets into Israel. But many people argue that Israel is ultimately aimed at eradicating Hamas completely.